Hey there. Um, I'm starting a comic book video blog thing. Um, I'm not, um, this is the first time I've done anything like this. Let's see. Yeah, so, um, I enjoy comic books. There are a lot of comics. So I, I listen to a couple of comic book podcasts, um, and they generally are, I mean, they're okay. Uh, I'm not going to mention them. But they are, they're alright, but they don't talk about a lot of the comic books that I tend to like. And they also don't, um, pardon me for a moment, I'm going to read a comic that I've never read before. Uh, let's see, it is called... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, oh, I'm going to read a Doctor Who comic. Uh, Doctor Who. Uh, Kevin Scott and Blaird Shed. Hmm. I've never heard of either of those people. Um, we'll see. I'm going to read it and then report back. Okay? Alright. Okay, so... Uh, I went ahead and I read that Doctor Who comic, and uh, I'm you know I'm uh, I'm not like a huge fan of Doctor Who, but it's cool. Um, this is the comic. It is Doctor Who: uh, New Adventures with the Ninth Doctor, uh, who was played portrayed by Christopher Eccleston, I believe, on the TV show, and. I, I, you know, I saw a few episodes with him and with Matt Smith and with uh, the other guy, uh, David Tennant, and I think that Christopher Eccleston was my favorite of those three. So basically, in this comic, which is a fairly long one, um, no page numbers, of course, because it's a comic, but it feels th rather thick. Uh, glossy paper. Um, so they come out, uh, they, they appear in space at some time, some point. Um, we don't know when or where, really. Uh, and there's, he's looking for something, he expects something, he expects a planet to be there. There's no planet, there's a bunch of rocks. So maybe it's been destroyed? I don't know. Uh, we never actually find out anything about that. Uh, in this particular issue. We don't know what he's looking for. I mean, this is an episode, this is issue, uh, this is issue one. <laughs> okay. Let's just throw you right in. Throw everybody right in there. Oh, wait. There is a previous. I didn't actually see that. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so... There, there's a planet that's gotten blown up or something. There's a lot of rocks. See? Rocks. In, floating in space. There's the TARDIS. There it is. See? Um, uh, suddenly a large, a big ship appears from out of hyperspace or something. And it just appears and it's huge. Doc. Doctor. Big ship. Huge. Time to arm the TARDIS defenses. Um, TARDIS doesn't have any defenses. So they get sucked, they get pulled into this big ship. And then there are these big weird robot looking things. They kind of look like eggs with legs and arms. Like maybe they're suits of armor or are they robots? I don't know. Um... Uh, he's got his little doctor, Doctor Who, I don't know if you're not familiar with him, he wields a little glowing light stick thing that is some sort of tool, I don't know what it's called, I don't know. And so they, they catch, these robot aliens catch them, and Christopher Eccleston's looking concerned, 
and also sometimes kind of flip, flippant, and happy. Uh, they escape the aliens. Oh, and then these big, weird... They escape these aliens by... The Doctor, Doctor Who activates some sort of weird transport thingy with this little toothbrush, this little glowing toothbrush thing. Bite stick thing, whatever it is. Uh, then these weird... Centaurs? <laughs> Space centaurs? I don't think they're that big, but... There's a, I guess there's probably a lot of them. They're like space centaurs, and they're silver. And uh, they have the body of a horse, of a silver horse, and the torso, like the sort of chest, where the head should be. There's a chest and a head and arms of a human, of a humanoid, because they're not, you know, obviously not humans. They're like humanoid. And they they have these weird energy weapon spear things uh, <laughs> shooting. Uh, and there's I you see from this illustration I couldn't tell like there's no I, I'm like how big are these things? These things are huge compared to the ship, right? But if you look down there in the corner, you can see a little guy. So I don't think they're actually gigantic. Um, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, uh, they get... So they're trying to run back to the TARDIS, and they get cornered by these big robot-looking things. Um, yep, yeah, they get cornered, and then they, and then one of the guys outside, one of the centaurs, shoots a hole in the ship right where these robot guys and our three compatriots, um, our three heroes... Oh, I forgot to, you know... There's Doctor Who, there's Rose Tyler, and there's Captain Jack, right? Um, you shoot a hole, and, and then there's air getting sucked out, and you're like, oh my god, these guys are going to get sucked down to space. And Doc. So, they don't actually get... So, one of the robot guys makes a little force field, so the air doesn't keep getting sucked out. Um... Uh, yep, more robot guys, more, oh, they're, so, they're trying to defend the ship, they're pretty sure the ship is going to get blown up. Um, here's where it's revealed that Doctor Who is a, doesn't like weapons, he doesn't like guns. So Captain Jack shoots a couple of the robot guys, pew, 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 and Doctor Who is like, no, don't use them, no more weapons. So he blows up Captain Jack's weapon. Um, and then they're about to get... They're going into the TARDIS, but one of the robot guys who's getting, gotten shot has his little, little spider arms that come out and snags Rose with one of the spider arms. And so she doesn't make it into the TARDIS, and then this, the... And then the TARDIS disappears. And the, the ship blows up or something. Uh, and but Rose has some kind of thing on her wrist, and it's what do they call it? Some kind of weird something that she put on earlier. Some weird device. What the hell is it called now? I don't know where the hell is she even. Oh yeah, she found it in one of the rooms. It's called a tachyon inhibitor. Inhibitor. Uh. Protecting its wearer from cause and effect. So it protects the wearer from cause and effect. Whatever that means. Um, and and then, so our final panel is uh, Rose is caught in some kind of time war... I don't know, time vortex or something. Not sure what's going on there. But, so, uh, it was not bad. Maybe, it kind of made me want to read more. Maybe buy another issue, possibly. Find out what happens to Rose. Um, I don't understand why this is a number one when it pops you, obviously, right into the middle of something. Um, there is a, pre, you know, pre, there, there's a recap, like a one paragraph recap right in the beginning. Hmm. Um... Um, the 
art isn't is pretty good. Mm, it could be. I think the art. I don't know. I'm I'm a fan of art that's that's pretty clear. I don't really think there's enough contrast here, frankly, in a lot of the panels. But I'm not going to complain. It's not it's not my favorite art. Uh, but it's not bad. I mean, I can tell what's going on. Um, and I can, you know, read the expressions on the characters' faces. And the dialogue isn't bad. It's, it's, I mean, you'd think that, here's, here's a page, here's Rose is getting sucked somewhere. You'd think that she'd be screaming bloody murder when she says Doc right there. Doc! But she just is like, Doc. Huh? Huh? So, I don't know, it seems like that would be a more forceful, at least some more forceful words. And so, the dialogue's kind of okay. Uh, David Eccleston, Christopher Eccleston, ugh. Um... He's a little, I don't know, he's a little, he, he's not as, like, this, this Doctor Who is not as goofy as Matt Smith, like, Matt Smith is seriously goofy. Uh, and I, I kind of, and I like Doctor Who because of that, like, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, in many ways I'm a serious science fiction kind of guy. Um, I mean, there was some humor, there's a little bit of humor in this, you know, between Doc, you know, Captain Jack and, and, and the three of them. It's alright. It's not bad. Oh, I, I did notice. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, so I'm going to post this on YouTube. Uh, feel free to send me comments. I'm going to disable the comment section because, frankly, I don't think the comment sections are really worth that much. If you actually have something interesting to tell me, you can send it in a message. Thank you.